Step out of your box every Tuesday night on Awakening Code Radio, right here on KX93.5, Laguna's only FM radio station. Everybody talks about the manifestation of a healing, which of course is very important because that's where you get the crystallized realization of the healing. But there's something that precedes the manifestation of healing, and that is the femifestation of healing. Oh. Uh, there must be femifestation before there is manifestation, and femifestation is that which we in the human experience have lost touch with because we have such great appreciation for those things that manifest. We can see it, touch it, taste it, feel it, live in it, ride in it, get juicy with it, and on and on and on like that. But there is something that precedes that. Like femifestation is the first coming of reality. Manifestation is the second coming of reality. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for you, Jen, it's really important that you femifest your healing to therefore ensure that you manifest your healing because the femifestation must come first. So, you know, femifestation is like connected to the womb of the universe, just like the creation story it says, that, you know, God created the heavens and the earth and the earth was void and without form. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. So it wasn't that the earth didn't exist. It was void and without form. It was in a state of femifestation, you see, because that void is the womb of the universe. So when we learn to have an exalted appreciation for our femifest blessings, as much as we would for our manifest blessings, then we help to ensure that we will give birth to healthy blessings. They, we won't miscarry our blessings because the truth is we are pregnant with every wonderful thing that will ever happen for us. It's impregnated within the womb of the void of our soul. Well, this is what I, I and this is new to me to hear it expressed this way, but I think you're calling, using the word femifestation almost as if in the, in the realm of potential. That the, yeah, that the, would be another term. In the realm of infinite potential that we've identified potentials and within ourselves, and in, in that, before we started manifesting a healing or whatever it is, we've femifestated all the potentials and sort of targeted it? I mean, could it almost yeah. be like the secret or something like well, that? Well, it's much like a thought. You know, the thought pre precedes, you know, the right. crystallization of the thought. Right. You know, um, and so there's so many different ways that we language the same truths that I just spoke. Did you invent that, that word, femifestation? I did not. It, That's a cool uh, word. <laughs> the first time I heard the word femifestation, uh, and it was... Um, a couple, uh, Ramana Das and Marlena, dear friends of mine, live up in the Bay Area, and they would sing and chant songs, and they would always chant about, you know, femifest, manifest, femifest, manifest, but they never said anything about what they meant other than the fact that femifest had an association with the feminine. Right. Then uh, a few months ago, God started giving me a download on it, and I start sharing it with people. Now, the, the power of femifestation is that it's a, it's a sacred code. When, when you hear these particular truths with the languaging of femifestation, something very mystical triggers inside of you. And I'm sure you're experiencing it. Jen has experienced it. Everyone I've ever shared it with over these last few months have experienced it because it's a way of languaging a truth that triggers a deeper understanding because there's just something about femifestation that is a sacred code because it represents the origin of all things. I mean, femifestation is the primordial first cause. Right. And it's, it is the origin of everything. It, it makes sense on a lot of levels, and I'm sort of absorbing it a little bit because a lot of people... In, in another way of language, they talk about the secret. You know, they talk about the manifestation of the things. But before you manifest those things, you have to have the thought. Before you become the chemical engineer or the healer or right. the astronaut, you had to, what, what we call it, femifest, femifest, the idea that you wanted to be that first. So there was the first cause the process of like being guided to those, you know, guided to what you're supposed to be or feel inclined to be or where you're going to invest your energy. 
And then you go about the process of manifesting that. Right. Now, the power of the femifestation is that it helps you to realize that the intangible reality of what you want to come into being is just as important as the tangible reality. So, so there's this uh, seeing of an equality of value in the manifest and the femifest. Because some people know that they need to start from the realm of that which is invisible, but still sometimes place a higher value on it once it becomes crystallized. Right. But you see, you know, uh, walking cannot be considered to be better than crawling because crawling is the primordial first cause of walking. You're going to crawl before you walk. www.kx935.com Click podcasts, then scroll to Awakening Code's previous shows.